With this question, if you're a student that was looking at this question from an exam paper, you would have noticed that there was like a weird comma here. That is not meant to be a comma. Uh, it is not 16 comma 2, it's 16 multiply by this expression over here. This one is a comma because it's 0 comma 5. So this over here is an exponential equation. So with an exponential equation, the goal is eventually to end up with something like this, where you've got these two numbers exactly the same. If you can get to that, then it's really easy because then in the next step, you just ignore the threes and then you just say x minus one equals to two x plus four as an example. So we have to somehow um, try get to that in this question. So what I would do, is I know that the number 16, if I type it on my calculator and I press equals and I press the shift button and then I press fact, I know that that is the same as two to the power of four. And I know that 0, 0,5 is actually the same as a half. And I know that if I wanna write this in a different way, I know that a half can be written as two, I can bring the two to the top and then just put it as minus one. You need to be familiar with the fact that these two are the same, okay? So I'm gonna actually change that then to two to the minus one. Now, when I have something like a to the three multiplied by a to the four, that becomes a seven because we know with exponent rules, we must add these numbers. So here I've got these two as the same so what do I do with these exponents? I add them, and that's gonna be then be four plus x minus one. Some of you are like, Kevin, shouldn't we just multiply the two and the two to become four? No, we cannot do that, because this two, and this two has an exponent, and this two has an exponent. So instead, you have to use exponent rules like we have over here, okay? And so even if you look at the rule, see what the rule says? If it's a over here and a over here, you keep it as a. So if it's two over here and two over here, you keep it as two. You don't multiply them together. And then over here, we know that with exponent rules, we should multiply. So that's gonna become negative x because negative one multiplied by x is negative x. And then negative one multiplied by negative four actually becomes plus four. Okay, now we are in business because check, we've got a two on both sides, just like I showed over here. So you can ignore those twos now and all that we're left with now is four plus x minus one equals to minus x plus four, and now it's just a normal equation that you can solve where you take all the x's to the one side, so I'm gonna take the x to the left, and then you take these numbers to the other side. And so on the left, we're gonna have x plus x, because when I bring this one over, it becomes a positive. And then on the right-hand side, we're gonna have four minus four, and then plus one. And so on the left, we're gonna have two x, and on the right, we end up with one. Then to get x alone, you divide both sides by two, and so x is a half.